And as a fan of this game, looking at it from afar, uh, I mean, you don't necessarily get to see those years of those teams that are going through rebuilding stages. And uh, you don't know the behind the scenes of when you lose and I mean, the emotion behind losing and uh, not not getting to experience the, the best part in, in the postseason. Uh, it's definitely tough. And so for me, just knowing how hard it how hard it is to get to this position and having to really literally build uh, our team to get to this position, it's it's uh, it makes it that much more gratifying that we're, we're here, but uh, not satisfied for sure, though. What would you say was the toughest part over these past two seasons, just not being in, involved in the playoffs? Uh, just, um, I don't know, for me, just watching, uh, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like I just haven't got the recognition and some guys on our team, we just haven't got the recognition that we deserve, but it, it comes with winning. And uh, I know that and I've, I've known that since the beginning. And uh, I think that's the, the most frustrating part is when you don't get the recognition you feel like you deserve, but it's, uh, I mean, we're here now. Brandon Harper. Hey, Trey, congrats on the win and, you know, congrats on uh, clinching a playoff spot. Um, we know that the job is not over yet and, you know, you all have your uh, eyesight on that uh, fourth spot. How important is it for you all as a young team, a team that's collectively in the playoffs together for the first time to have that fourth spot and to, and to have that home court advantage in the first round? Uh, I mean, it's, it's very important, uh, obviously, for us. I mean, not a lot of the guys on our team haven't experienced it. Uh, or at least a couple of guys. And so for us, just uh, being able to play on our home floor um, after coming off of, I mean, ending the season on a home stretch, I think it'd be good for us. Um, but we also just want to finish out the season strong. We don't want to, uh, I mean, end up with um, you know, a loss or two at the end of the season. We want to, we want to finish strong. So that's really our, our main thing. We just want to finish strong. Mila Johnson. Hey, Trey, congrats on the win and also congrats on the playoff. Um, so you, we see a lot of late game substitutions uh, from Coach McMillan, and we see how he's able to kind of understand you guys and see how you guys are out there together, um, especially with Solo and like tonight's game. Um, so what is uh, your view of his as a coach? And do you also think he should be in talks for Coach of the Year? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think for... For sure. I mean, uh, I think whenever he took over, we were 14 and 20. And I mean, I mean, way out of the playoff race, I think we were 11th or 12th. Um, could be wrong, but um, I mean, for us to be back here in fourth spot, I think it's definitely in, uh, he should definitely be in the, the conversation. Um, I mean, obviously with Monty and uh, some of the Tibbs, obviously you guys are, are doing really good, but I think, I mean, Nate should be in that conversation uh, for sure. I, I like I like the way his uh and to your first question uh I, I really like the the way his uh I mean he just wants everybody to believe in each other and I think that's that's been big for us giving confidence in guys and um I think that's been big for our team. Thank you. Go back to Chris. You guys have been talking about the possibility of making the playoffs since last March. Uh, yeah. What made you guys so confident that this was going to happen this year? Um, I think because we, we knew all along we had the talent. Um, we had talented guys and then adding, adding some of the pieces we did this, this past offseason um, with the experience and the growth of the guys that are still here, I think is, uh, I mean, for us, the expectations just went higher. And uh, I mean, I think it pushed us and it's got us to, to really believe in each other and uh, got us here. So it's been good. Just a few more. We'll go through Kevin Chenard. Hey, Trey. Coach talks a lot about how it's important for, for as a team for you to believe that you can win. And it looks like it happens a lot. Like there have been so many fourth quarters where you've, you know, you've come back from deficits and just, you know, finished one step ahead of the other team with the finish line. How does he get you guys to believe? Uh, I mean, I think really just uh, continuing to talk about it. I mean, he, he continues to preach it um, before each game. That's the first thing he, he brings up. Uh, and we got to believe and, and stay together. Um, and I think if you continue to say something 
um, enough and it's repeated a lot, it, uh, it starts to, to really sink in with everybody. So I think that's, that's what it is. Raphael Haynes. Hey, Trey, congrats on the win and making and uh, clinching a playoff, Bert. You, you all talked about the playoffs, as you mentioned, but the fact that you had to deal with all of the injuries you dealt with, what does it say about this team? Uh, it just shows, I mean, the depth of our team, the depth of uh, the guys we have on this roster. Uh, I mean, obviously, if, if you haven't watched us play all year and you, you saw us for the first time tonight, I mean, you would think we had, had all our guys besides Dre out. Um, for, for most of the season, but I mean, that hasn't been the case. So for us, I mean, knowing that we got guys on the bench that have experience from playing, uh, it's, it's, it's really good for us. And um, I mean, we got, a, we got a pretty deep bench that we can go to, so it's good. We'll do Christos next. Hey, Trey, congratulations on the win and the playoff spot as well. I would like to ask you, with uh, your journey, in the, especially in the second half of the season, do you believe that you earned the respect uh, and the attention of the whole league as a team? Do I, do I think we have? Do you think that you earned the respect and the attention of the whole league as a team? Um, I mean, I don't know. That's up to everybody else to, the, to talk about. I mean, if they respect us or not, I don't, I don't really care. And I don't think the guys in our locker room really care. I think we just care about us and focus on what we got to do. And uh, I mean, if people ain't going to continue to respect us, then that's, that's on them. So we, we just got to continue to focus on us and uh, keep winning and uh, everything else will take care of itself. We will give the final question to Anthony Patterson of the Atlanta Voice. Hey, Trey, congratulations on the playoff berth. Uh, I know you and the team pretty, are pretty excited. Um, but my question is just in relevance to the fans because when COVID hit, you got, you guys were one of the teams last season, of course, that did go to the bubble. Yeah. And like this season, you guys are going to the playoffs. You didn't have a full capacity of fans here at State Farm Arena, but it was pretty loud and rocking. Uh, how does it feel just to, one, just, I mean, one, not only to clinch the playoff for but to do it in front of the fans where now we can have fans in the place. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, I mean, for us and for me uh, as a player, I think, I mean, it's not fun if, if everybody ain't with you. So uh, it ain't fun if people can't experience what you're experiencing. So uh, for me, uh, us winning here at home and for the, the fans to be able to experience us clinching this together um, after not being in the, the playoffs for, for a couple of years now. Um, it, it's great. It's great. I mean, we got a lot of work we got to continue to do. Um, we want to continue to, to make this place a tough place to play. So uh, that, that's going to take all of us. So that's uh, us on the court and our fans. So I'm looking forward for them to get, get loud in the playoffs too now. It's going to be fun. Thank you, Trey. <laughs> See ya. Okay, everybody, we will also be joined by John Collins, I believe, as well as Bogdan Bogdanovich.
Whew. What's up, JC? Hey, uh, Lonnie, man. I'm getting a little scared, man. I was a little scary today. We survived. Scary, man, I'm good, though. It's like you're just watching a scary movie once it's over, man. So hopefully I don't have no nightmares. Well, we'll just dive right into the question. I don't, I'm not going to test it. Oh, we did uh, not know how to respond to that. We was totally <laughs> caught off guard. <laughs> well, let's throw it to, to Sarah. She can take the pressure off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, Lonnie don't want that heat, man. You want to get off me. I see how it is, man. I see how it is, man. Happy to, uh, happy to distract Jelani there. Um, John, clinching a top six spot, um, being the longest tenured guy on the team, having gone through a lot of the rebuild, just what does this mean to you? No, it means a lot. You know, I haven't really had a chance to let the moment breathe yet, but um, just understanding that it's secured is, is a little bit of a different feeling, you know, uh, not to joke in any manner, but right now I'm usually planning, you know, trip, some workout, like it's, it's just new for me to be um, looking forward to and to be ready to play meaningful basketball. And as I said before, I'm ready to go. So it's a, it's a good feeling. What does it say about this team? I mean, you guys started out 14 and 20. Um, just how far have you guys come even just this season? Um, extremely far. It's crazy that you even say something like that. And, you know, we can look back and be in the position we're at. I feel like, uh, at the end of the day, we all did one thing and that's believed in ourselves. You know, we obviously, you know, might not have executed it the correct way or, you know, chemistry issues and, you know, all, all be the stuff with this, this, this new season, new coaching, new players. But um, I felt like we just believe that we can win. And uh, I feel like if you had that belief, have that belief, it is strong and it helps out, you know, helps you win games. How big a part was Nate of that? I know he has said so many times he want, he tries to get you guys to really believe that you can buckle down and win games. He's huge, you know, um, doing his job as a coaching standpoint, you know, trying to keep guys level headed, um, his communication, uh, you know, Nate's been great, uh, with everything thus far, you know, I feel like everybody is welcoming him as our coach and, you know, we want to just keep ingratiating ourselves with him and, uh, continue to build chemistry with him as a coach as well. So, um, it's a process. Thank you. Chris Kirshner. John, how would you describe your journey up until this point? Obviously, you make the go-ahead shot with 24 seconds to go, and, and that's the one that, that clinches it. So just what have these past three and a half years been like just to get to this point now? No, that's a good point, Chris. I never, I didn't think of it like that. But it's, you know, it's kind of a nice little cherry on top uh, for the game. But uh, it, as, as I said before, it, it's sort of surreal. Um, you know, when I hit that shot, I was so locked in. I wasn't really even celebrating. I was just, you know, so locked in on the moment um, on us securing this this win tonight and securing my first playoff first. Um, just thinking about, as you said, all the trials and tribulations I've had to gone I've had gone through up until this point uh, makes every bit of this just that much sweeter. We want to continue to win these next two games and um, build momentum. So um, I'm just happy, happy man. What would you say has been the the toughest part over these past three years? Obviously, you guys lost a, a ton of games over, over these past three years and now you're in this position now where you're a top six seed in the East. Yeah, I mean, more than anything, it's the mental strain, right? You know, it's it's not easy to be on a rebuilding team and, and lose games and, you know, in certain situations, just keep scratching your head and wonder what's happening. Why are we continuing to lose? Um, and then on top of that, you want to compound that with, you know, the COVID, my, my personal experiences, uh, you know, injuries, uh, my suspension, you know, a bunch of stuff that, you know, it's not easy to get through. And, uh, you know, I do this for a reason. I do this to get to places like the playoffs, to play meaningful basketball, to show show what I can do on the court. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to fight for, for what I believe in and um, for myself and my teammates. Raphael Haynes. Hey, what's going on, John? Congrats, man, on clinching the playoff berth. And want to ask you, with the team, you mentioned everything y'all have been through, you've been through personally, all of the injuries. For you to be in this spot and battling for a fourth seed, do you feel like you are getting to that point where you're battle tested now? We know you haven't been in the playoffs, but just as far as within the game. Definitely. I feel like, if anything, this season uh, um, has been 
uh, more of a test than any other season I've had to, to go through, um, you know, starting off how we did, what, 14 and 20, to come back and be, you know, have a positive record and to be fighting for the fourth spot with, with all of the injuries and all of the ups and downs we've just had as a team. It almost doesn't sound right, uh, but I feel like now that we're all together, now that, you know, we, we all see, you know, where we're heading and, and the trajectory we, we have, uh, I feel like the confidence is growing with us and we just want to continue to, uh, to play the right way and play together, so. Brandon Harper. Hey, John, I know, uh, you know, you're, you're happy and, you know, excited about clinching a playoff berth. We all know that the job is not, you know, completely over yet. What would it mean for the psyche of this team to be able to grab that number four seed and be able to have home court in the first round? That's huge. You know, I was talking to, uh, excuse me, some of the older guys, are, um, you know, older guys in the locker room today about how important it is to have that home court advantage and just hearing about their experiences and how much easier it makes it, you know, just as a series and, and for your mental, um, you know, it, it's extremely important. And I feel like, you know, that was part of the reason why we're, we're continuing to fight so hard is we, we want that home court advantage and we know it makes a big difference um, in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Everything matters. To Kevin Chenard. Hey, John. Uh, the last couple of seasons, this team has felt like sort of the team of Trey Young and John Collins. A lot of talented players got here in the offseason. Do you feel like you had to sort of sacrifice to get to this goal? Oh, definitely. Um, uh, I, I talked with, you know, Coach about that and, you know, my family and everybody. Um, and just understanding that, yes, you know, you know, like, for instance, my family doesn't necessarily like to see me taking less shots or being more pick and rolls and all that good stuff. But there's a sacrifice that must be made for us to, to win games. Um, and the sacrifice for me is, you know, taking away some things I'm good at and having to do new things and trying to learn and, you know, grow and, and do better um, at new things in my game. And it's just about me personally progressing um, so I can help my team in whichever way they need. And I feel like, uh, you know, that's a common goal. I feel like everybody in, in certain areas or in, in a certain area has sacrificed something. And um, that, you know, that amounts to us winning more games. So, uh, you know, more, I'm okay with it. Uh, just a few more. We will go to Christos. Hey, John. Congratulations Christos. on the win uh, and the playoff berth. First of all, are you a Chelsea fan? What's About that? the shirt. Are you, oh, are oh, you oh, a Chelsea oh. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, you know, made me show it. It's the jog, I got the jog one back. Oh, there. it's uh, you know, I'm uh, I can't wear the Nike, you know, what I'm saying I got go three stripe, but uh, shouts out to the Blues, baby, Champions League. Just bet big CC over there, hoping I can uh, you know, keep those returns, you know, what I'm saying, hopefully, go Blues, go Blues, go Blues, go Blues. Great, I would like to ask you about uh, tonight about the playoffs are coming up. So, how good are the Hawks this season? And... How big is the growth, especially in the second half of the season, about the playoffs? Yeah, um, you know, I feel like we're we're deadly. You know, I feel like we have a lot of different uh, guys, different lineups. Um, I feel like if there's any one word I can put on it, you know, why we're so good, it's our versatility. You know, our ability to still be in this position, as I said, with all of the injuries, all the different lineups, um, and our, the ability of our guys, you know, a, a different coach, you know what I mean? So many things. Uh, that we've had to just overcome this year, uh, as well as the, you know, the testing and the COVID and all this stuff for us to still be in this position for me is extremely impressive. So, you know, I definitely say we're resilient and we're, we're versatile and we, uh, we're starting to get stronger. Our chemistry is starting to come together going into the latter half of the season, into the playoffs. And um, we just understand that we have to have a laser focus to compete and do anything um, the right way. And we want to just continue to get to that point. to Yakiri Thomas, and we'll have just a few more after that. Congratulations again, um, John, on the win and clinching that playoff work. Um, just can you speak on just your mindset in the final seconds of the game? And also, if you could say one word to describe your mood, what is it? Um, one word to describe my mood is it's ecstatic. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be calm. It looks, you know, calm on the inside, but it's, I'm excited. You know, I'm happy. Um, I'll, I'll use that word, ecstatic. Um, what was the first part of your question? I'm sorry. And just um, your mindset, mindset in the final seconds of the game. 
Yeah, you know, I uh, I saw Trey driving in, and I knew he was gonna pass it to me. I I, I stood on that that I call it the the angle of the the court where I just hit a three a couple of adjustments earlier. I was so locked in, I couldn't hear anything. I just remember me releasing the ball from my hands and thinking, "Please go in," and it went in, and I I couldn't even like process anything. I was just so locked in on that moment. I wanted to make the shot, and I did, and I can I can breathe a little bit, so. Okay, let's go to Sarah and then Chris. Don, how is how exciting is it to think of playing on a bigger stage and getting to showcase what you guys can do on a big stage that hasn't been available to you the past few years? Yeah, it makes my uh, intensity, you know, my competitive nature, you know, rise that much more. I feel like, you know, myself personally I can speak for a lot of guys on the team as well you know we've been doing a lot of great stuff and it hasn't necessarily been nationally publicized or seen from a national stage and we can't get any any bigger than the playoffs and I feel like we're all accepting of you know what we've done and now we want to come in and prove you know that you know we feel like people should be watching us we feel like we should get this and that now we have the opportunity to prove to do so and uh we, we want to be ready Chris like you guys have been talking about making the playoffs for over a year now. What made you guys so confident that, you know, this was the year that it was going to happen? I think firstly, when you just look at, looked at our team on, on paper, before we even started anything, you just start to get excited. Right. Um, and then obviously we know, you know, it's a learning curve for, you know, having new guys adjust to each other, uh, had a coaching change in the middle of the year, but um, you know, we, we, we tried to ignore all that. And we tried to stay focused on what we have, what we had as a team um, and build from there. And I think that it's going to be really valuable going into the playoffs. As I said, not having guys and having guys and um, really figuring out our, our identity as a team going into the latter half of the season is, um, is, is, is vital. Last one from Jonathan Simmons. Hey John, uh, first of all, congratulations on the uh, big win. And of course, the big shot being a part of the win. Uh, I can remember the very first uh, press conference uh, that you guys had. So uh, when you came to Atlanta, and one of the things that stuck out was the great relationship with your mom. So are you pretty happy to be giving her pretty much the ultimate Mother's Day gift with this big win? No, this is big time. It's funny you said that I haven't opened my message yet, but I got like eight. <laughs> I got like eight test messages from her. So uh, whatever she's saying there, I, I obviously uh, she's super, super excited. That's my number one fan. Uh, she's coming to some playoff games. Obviously her first time there too. So, uh, you know, I can't say much more. I love my mama. Hey, mama. No doubt. Second thing is uh, the, the theme seems to be uh, both from you and from Trey. And I think from even Atlanta fans, the apparent uh, lack of respect for the national media. How much is that going to drive you guys as you continue now to make this playoff push uh, into round number one for the very first time? Yeah, I know, as you said, Trey and I, it definitely drives and motivates us personally. You know, we, we definitely want to prove everybody wrong, prove our doubters, our haters wrong, and prove the people who, you know, didn't expect for us to be here, prove them wrong as well. But we also want to prove ourselves right. You know, we're putting in a lot of hard work. We've been through the trenches, we've lost games, we've figured out how to win. And as I said, we feel like we deserve more national attention and now we have the opportunity to go prove it and we're ready. Um, so um, I can't say much more than that. Thanks, John. Thank you, JC. That was our final question. Thanks, guy. Hello, Buggy. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Of course, we will begin with a question from Sarah. Hey, Bogey, um, just clenching a top six spot. Just what is what is your feeling like right now? Um, I mean, I feel proud for this team and really and happy, of course, uh, another achievement for um, everybody's career. You know, uh, it's it's a huge thing. That's that's why we got here. You know, that's why we came here and uh, but it's nothing over yet, you know. We want to secure uh, the higher seed as we can. What does it say about this team's turnaround? You know, starting the season fourteen and twenty, and now getting to this point. I mean, um, we're 
we were really working hard for it, honestly, all the time, you know, since day one, even when uh, it, it wasn't like we, we were um, wanted to be, you know, and uh, it wasn't the way we, we really was imagining it to be. But uh, um, I'm happy that we are in this position that we, we can control our, our destiny. So um, really proud about it. Chris Kirshner. When you were with Sacramento and watching this team from afar, what did you feel like this team was missing in order to take that next step and get to a point where you guys are tonight and, and clinching a playoff spot? Yeah, obviously, every, everyone knows um, this team went through the rebuilding process first year. I, I think the second year they didn't want to go through it, but with uh, injuries and uh, schedule at the beginning, you know, and a couple loss at the beginning, um, they they uh, they re rebuilt it another year. Um, but this year, you know, with the, with the roster we have, with the players we brought here, every single player, you know, uh, and the, the the talent they already had here with the young guys, uh, I think the the everyone did a pretty good job on it. You know, uh, the whole the the team stuff they're working around the Hawks. Obviously, they did an amazing job. When you were um, going through free agency this past off season, when you did end up signing here, did you feel like this team had? enough talents to you know get to this point where you are in the playoffs now when i was talking with them i asked them just one question are we are we going to win like are we going to fight for wins you know and uh is that our goal and they say yeah that's why we need you and they know my play style and uh i'm always about that so um that's why that's why they pay all of us not just me uh, to be here so <laughs> That's it, simple as that. And I believe them. Jamila. Hey, Bogey, congrats on the win. And congrats on the uh, playoff first. Um, so uh, when I asked a few of your more seasoned teammates about their personal goals, aside from the playoffs, um, a few of them mentioned consistency. I don't know if that was one of your goals. I think you mentioned it as well at one point. But do you feel like you've reached that level of consistency? Um, I know there's still some games left. And also, do you have any other personal goals that you want to see fulfilled throughout the rest of the season in the playoffs? Yeah, everyone should, uh, everyone, uh, should have uh, the personal goals. You know, that's important for every and each other's careers, you know, and uh, that's what motivates, you know, you need, you need to find that motivation. Uh, so the day I came here, you know, um, I just wanted to be better, you know, than I was in Sacramento. Uh, and I, I, I feel like I was working uh, uh, very hard every single time, you know, I have a chance and uh, uh, I used every opportunity I had, you know. Uh, so, um, yeah, but I, I don't want to talk like something is over right now. Uh, yeah, still a lot of work to do. I'm, I'm happy about that chemistry we're building that, uh, gives us that uh, consistency. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Chenard. Uh, after, after the win tonight, Coach said that, you know, the win showed that, that as a team you believe. What does it take for a team to, to believe in itself? Um, it takes everything, man. You know, I, I feel like it starts with that work and dedication. And, and when you know you put everything uh, in it, you know, and, and, uh, coach like to say, don't F with the game, you know? And, uh, uh, so <laughs> we learned that quote pretty well. Uh, so yeah, when, when you don't do it, you know, I feel like the game respects you back and you re earn a respect and that little bit of luck in, in this, in this league, in this game, uh, you need that little bit of luck. And I feel like uh, to get lucky, you need to deserve that. You know, uh, there is a reason why some guys are lucky and some guys are not. Christos. Hey, Bogey. Congratulations on the win and the playoff berth as well. I would Thank like you. to ask you, what is the most special part of that team from your perspective? 
that um, we we have a lot of players they didn't make the playoffs here, you know, and it's gonna be a um, amazing experience, you know, and uh, I'm sure we are not gonna go out there and just uh, experience the moment, you know, we're gonna compete. And uh, about the playoffs, what is the real, uh, what is your potential, what is your 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 ceiling as a team? I feel like we don't even know yet, and like we are we are pretty confident that we can play against everybody and we can match up against everybody, and um, we stick to our uh, backyard and we're gonna you know work on our game. Alexander. Bogdan, čestitam na večerašnjoj izvanrednoj pobedi, važnoj pobedi tvoji 20 poena i uh, ulazak u play-off. Kako se osjećaš, kako se razmišljaš posle utakmice? Dobro je, dobro je da smo pobedili i ovaj, eto, obezbedili smo top 6 uh, ove godine i izuzetno sam, stvarno sam srećan zbog toga. Što kažeš na to što si u timu koji pobeđuje, vrem da to čini srećnim, a nešto drugo, uh, imali vesti i planova za reprezentaciju, turnir krajem juna, a da li se u komunikaciji vezi sa tim i da li uopšte sa moguće razmišljati o tome obzirom da play-off još nije ni počeo? Pa što se tiče ovoga svega ovde, ja sam ono stvarno fokusiran i ja stalno tako razmišljam ono kad dođe vreme za reprezentaciju ja ću da ovaj, pričam o tome i sad ne znam kako će da bude ove godine ove godine stvarno ovaj, taj raspored čudan i čini mi se da će NBA, NBA da se vrati u normalu sledeće godine i to se još uvek ne zna ali dosta je naporna bila ova sezona, vidjet ćemo šta će, dok li ćemo da dogoramo u play-offu, pa ćemo onda da vidimo. Ali da, u kontaktu smo svi sa igrač i Igor i um, Danilo i tako. Svi se tu čujemo ove, između sebe i svi pratimo jedne druge. Kako cijenjuš opte Atlantu razliku odnosno na branije timove i da li jednostavno najvažnije što ti je trener dao otvoreno šansu i koje tvoje boru za navijače u Srbiji i svuda? Pa da, mislim da sam se dobro ovaj pronašao ovde i mislim da je trener isto mi pomogao dosta u toj u pronalaženju uloge u ekipi. I um, ono što on želi, želi mi ja, da pobeđujemo svaku utakmicu, da igramo na pravi način i onako, našli smo neki zajednički jezik, on je bio isto bivši igrač i um, ovaj, zna onako kako je to i kad si šuter i Uh, i ono i da treba da dotakneš loptu par puta i da treba da uđeš u ritam i tako. Ovaj, tako da dosta se razume u to i ovaj, sigurno da, da, da je pomogao i meni, a i ostalima ovdje u ekipi uh, da, da pronađemo taj neki pobednički mentalitet. Što ja čekao što je playoff? Da li to donosi neki stres ili baš donosi neki adrenalin i neku želju za pobednom i akcijom? Pa za, za nas ja mislim adrenalin najviše i neko novo iskustvo i nekako ovaj, to je ono za šta radiš. Ovaj, imamo tu dosta igrača koji su igrali, sigurno će, da će nam oni pomoći, ali to su onako što, što se kaže ovdje next level games. Just one more. Kako je Atlanta za život, ako što ima vremena da se i vidi grad, obzirom na gust raspored? Odličan je. Kad dođeš, pokazat ću ti. Baš i hvala. Thank you. Right. Three more for you, Bogey. We'll go back to Sarah. Hey Bogey, um, just how exciting, how exciting is it for you to think of getting to play on that bigger stage and for you guys getting to showcase what you can do on that bigger stage in the playoffs? I feel like, you know, we as a team, we deserve more credit, you know, and a lot that's, of points what, in there in the that's, that's what, uh, you know, everyone in, uh, in, in the league think about their teams. So it's normal, but, uh, I think we are we deserve it more as well and uh, for Toyota let's go places really like Bogdanovich tough, played such great defense uh, but made four three pointers contributed in the off <laughs> Sorry I don't I don't oh know what's God. happening That was me I'm sorry oh. <laughs> So you said a lot of teams you said a lot of teams Yeah they they think they deserve yeah yeah but um yeah I, I think the way we play the way we competed the uh, after all star especially Uh, you know, um, that's the way we want to continue to play. I had one more for you, which is just um, obviously in the first half, the fourth quarter was a big problem for you guys. And the second half, it's obviously been the exact opposite and it continues to be. Um, 
just, I guess, what has been the biggest key to that and how important has that been as far as a factor leading to you guys now being in the position you are in? Um, it's, it's, it's really tough, you know, and um, this game against Washington it looked like the playoffs, you know, that's, that's the team. They played the playoff basketball and, and they adjusted to the first game and they changed their defense to the second game. Uh, so we had a little bit of experience with it, you know, and that's good for us. Um, yeah, but, you know, when you have that goal at the end to win the game, you, you just want to do it no matter what, you know, just to win the game. And as long as we are all on the same page and we believing in it, you know, um, we can make the, the job easier for each other. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Chris and then finish with Jonathan. Okay. How would you describe your journey over these past few seasons, going from Sacramento, a team that didn't go in the playoffs, to now being in the playoffs for the first time? And what would you say was the toughest part over these past few seasons for you? My toughest part was the first year in SEC when um, I feel like we were, you know, giving up at the beginning of the year, you know, and I was coming from the championship team in EuroLeague and I was pretty motivated, you know, and uh, um, I, I, I was scared for myself that I lost that like competitiveness in myself because the wins was driving me all the time. You know, my career was I played in partisan winning team. Um, they were all about wins. The Fenerbahce I played, they were all about the wins, winning the high level games, winning the, the whole thing. And coming to SEC first year, not not even know what, what is the team goal for that year, you know. And that was, that was the hardest challenge for me, you know, getting in. I was still working on my game, but, um, you know, the, the thing you you work on, you cannot use the game in the game and they, they don't, you know, it's not as valued as, as it now, let's say, you know, or the, the last couple of years in SEC. That was the toughest challenge for me. And every other year after that, you know, I, I could see what I, I should do it better, you know. Um, one, one goal of the season, this, this season I had to stay healthy the whole year. I didn't make it, but hopefully next year, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I think that static is Jonathan Simmons, so if you have a question, you could go yes. free. Okay, yeah, congratulations on the win and congratulations on getting to the playoffs for the first time. Thank you. Uh, it, it seems like the, the, the theme for all of what I've heard in these press conferences has been two things. Number one, uh, tell me a little bit of how, it, how you guys were able to develop the chemistry considering that you had so many new guys coming to this team, number one. And number two, uh, how much is the thought that the rest of the league doesn't respect this team drive you guys as you move into the playoffs? Um, I'm, I'm going to answer the second one. Um, what I learned in this league, um, um, you have to um, prove it um, that, that, that you are that team every night, every game, every time. So that's the toughest challenge for every single team. And that's why, you know, a lot of teams uh, don't get enough credits. Um, and I, th I, I honestly believe we, we don't have enough credits the, the way we play after All-Star, but it's okay. We, we still have to prove it, you know. If we go out there and we play terrible basketball in the playoffs, no one will care about us. I know that. So we have to look at ourselves and, uh, you know, continue to play the way we want. You know, if you want the bigger credit, you know, we have to play better than now. We have to play better. Um, you know, we have to find a ways. That's 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 has to be like that. And the first question, um, what was the first question? I forgot. It was uh, how were you guys able to build such yeah. a great team chemistry with so many new yeah. guys coming to this team? You know, we were all the way back to the wall uh, before the All Star with that record we had. Uh, I, I don't even remember what was the record, but uh, I know it was pretty bad. Uh, and you know, you come to that point, and I was hurt at that time. You know, and I could easily sit a couple more games, but uh, I decided to. You know, I feel like if I don't come back early, 
you know, maybe the season going to shift a different way. And that's what that's a lot of times I know that happens with a lot of players. They sign a new deal, go in another team and that 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 team wants to make the playoffs and and they have a certain goals and they don't make it next year. You know, they change everything. So I feel like the players, this group, the the the, the competitiveness we have in the locker room, we all step it up, you know, and uh, we all kind of we are competitors, you know, and we were like, OK, we are here for wins, you know, let's figure it out and let's just play out there and let's let's have fun. That was the the, the point we changed the season. Thank you, Buggy. That was Thank our you. final question for you. Thank you. Good. Thank you.